Hey there everyone, it's Matt from Creative Reviews. Today we're doing a combination experience review on Windows 8 Pro and this Sony Vio Z series laptop. If you can't remember, this is the laptop that came out it in November of 2011, but I bought it midway through 2012. It came stock with Windows 7, but then I upgraded it to Windows 8 Pro. Now this laptop is 13 inches, made of carbon fiber, it's very light, it's nice, but after dealing with uh, an iPad and an iPad mini, laptops have become feeling heavier and heavier. For example, I have friends and family who have regular laptops and they feel like bricks now. But uh, today I'm going to be going over a few problems I've been having, uh, including startup and actually accessing different features on the laptop and right now I'm going to start it up and hopefully it will actually start up for us because I've, I've even had trouble starting up in the past too. So we're going to go through this and we're going to see how this works out. So simply, I'm going to turn it on. Now what's been happening is that it goes to the Windows 8 tiles but after that point I can't actually go to the desktop, which is frustrating because I need to. So here we come. The Wi-Fi is active. The battery is probably at 90%. I'm going to enter my password right now. Oops, enter the wrong password. And then we're, it's going to take us to the live tiles. So here we go. All right, so this is what comes up and this is a non-touch screen laptop. So if I do this, it's not gonna do anything, but Windows 8 Pro is made for touch screen gestures. And the more I talk about this, the more I'm gonna let you know that there's something that's missing, a great piece that's missing when you have a touch screen centered operating system without a touch screen. Now first of all, I'm now using this trackpad. So when I do this, a little mouse comes on here, but the problems I'm having now, so whenever you see the mouse I'm using the trackpad, is I usually run this out of desktop mode. I know it's easy to click on a tile, but I really have not found myself using this too much. By the way, it is January 1st, 2013. Happy New Year, everyone. But uh, I've had this for a while after I've updated uh, this up to Windows 8 Pro in October, and it's not doing that well. I click on the desktop because that's where I go. Nothing happens. So what I've started doing in the past week is using the quick access button that switches it from desktop to tile mode and what that usually or used to do was pull up the start menu on Windows 7 but it doesn't do that anymore it switches you back from tiles or Metro to the desktop so here's what happens when I hit the easy access button there's my desktop for a second but immediately pop pops back doesn't even show the full wallpaper, and I think I have a SimCity wallpaper, which you can see here a little bit. But it pops there for a second, and nothing's clickable. I can't drag anything. I believe the mouse still works, but I can't, you know, move this. If I, if I were to scroll like this, on a website, you may think it goes up and down, but on here it goes side to side, and scrolling does absolutely nothing right now. And I think it's the fact that this portion is not working and there's a bug going between desktop and Metro. Now let me talk about going between desktop and Metro. There should be no point ever, I don't believe, where there should be two operating systems running one on one device. What is the point? Unless you go from a, let's say an iOS to a jailbroken system, there is no point. Unless you're trying to access different features, there is no point. There is Windows 8 Pro and it's separated into a desk desktop mode, which I assume is 
for people who don't want to move into tiles yet, but then there's the tile mode, which if you have uh, heard about the Windows Surface RT, that's all it runs in. It runs in purely tile or metro mode and nothing else. And that's because it's limited by a slower processor and there is going to be a Windows 8 Pro tablet, surf, the Surface tablet coming out, I believe very soon in January, where they'll have both. But I've heard a lot of people complain, or at least a lot of reviewers complain, that the Surface RT, which only works in Metro, is not full. I mean, it does switch back to desktop mode when it wants to run only Microsoft applications. And I believe Microsoft approved applications which would be the Office Suite and some other programs. I'm sure the Office Suite is really what everybody would use on this. So in a way, the RT still does go to desktop, but you can't install your other programs that you've had in the past. And I believe that includes things like QuickBooks and Quicken and all those. I, I have friends who are accountants, so I would know that. But that, those don't work on here, and that's a problem but I think they should have done a better job incorporating the desktop and the 8 and not just leave it at such a divide so that you can have this choice because in this case, I don't think it's right to have the choice. I think that you should be all in on Metro and if you want the desktop, just stick with Windows 7. I don't see the reason to upgrade at all. It gives you a really half-assed experience in both cases and I'm really not a fan and I don't know, now if you have these same problems, please let me know. I don't know if these are my personal problems or if this is just something that's going on with my computer or if it's something going on with Windows 8. So let me know if this has been happening to you. But again, the mouse works, but I can't access anything on the tiles. And when I hit the easy access button, the Windows button, it flashes to the desktop, but then flashes right back. Now there are times when I believe I close my laptop, put it into hibernation mode, and open this up again, and it goes to the desktop mode, but only in a very limited way. Lots of features don't work, like scrolling doesn't work. Let's see if this happens this time. Scrolling doesn't work, and a lot of other things don't work either. I'm going to type in my password once more. And as of now, it's still stuck in Metro mode. And it still pops me back to Metro whenever I hit that. And I think it does need a few seconds before it can actually go back. Now, I, I don't know exactly what I can do because the problem now is the gestures also don't work. If you, um, if you know Windows 8 Pro is a touch-based operating system and it should have gestures where if you go up here your start kind of your start menu will come down and you can turn the computer on and off and turn things on and off up here um, on a non touch screen device it's your mouse and when you go in the upper right hand corner it should bring down the start menu which I'm going to start calling it now but it doesn't so what I've been forced to do is to hold down the power button to shut the computer off which is of course bad and it could corrupt some files but as of now, there's no other way for me to shut it off and it would be just stuck in hibernation mode. It's really been frustrating. So I'd like to know, have you been having the same problems? How have you gotten around them? Do you have a different computer and are having the same problems? So maybe it'd be Windows 8 or do you have a Sony Via laptop and is your 7, Windows 7, starting to go bad too? Let me know. This has been Matt for Creative Reviews. It's January 1st, 2013. We've been talking about the problems on turning on the uh, Sony Vio Z series with an upgraded Windows 8 Pro. Follow me on Facebook, WordPress, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.